Welcome to your next C++ tutorial. Um, I just tell you about pointers and they're really not that scary once you know what they actually do. Um, so yeah, okay. So in this tutorial we're learning about enumerations. I want you guys to practice pointers and I don't want to get into more heavy stuff. So I'll let you practice with them while I teach a much simpler topic and that is the enumeration. So what an enumeration is, and you probably will hear this being used uh, said a lot, but an enumeration is a type, or it creates a type of object. So integer is a type, um, float is a type, boolean, bool is a type, and in Java you type boolean, and um, C++ is just bool. I don't know why, it's just, I don't know, bool. I guess you could do boolean, but that's not entirely real C++, so, or is it, wait, no, yeah, just type in bool. Anyways, we're going to be using an enumeration to create our own type. So how do you use an enumeration? Well, first off, you have to type in enum, um, let's name ours food, like in the Java example. And unlike Java, you need a semicolon after that to say, okay, we're done declaring the enumeration. Don't know why that is, but... So, I create an enumeration, and what we can do with an enumeration is we can create our own type of object. For instance, food um, f or something. And then we can set f to certain things that we can use to check, okay, is f this or is f that? And let me show you what I mean by that. So for our food object type, we can create different values, things as in banana, um, syrup. I'm creating a more varied um, types than um, in Java. Um, tortoise. I don't know if people eat those anymore. Um, <laughs> um, some other types of food. Dirt is good. Um, fried worm. Worm. Um, think one more food. Um, pizza. Pizza. Okay. And you don't need a semicolon after. So now we say, okay, we have t five different values that food can be set to. And in fact, did you know that Boolean is also an it's not exactly an enumeration, but you could set your own type of thing like boolean, um, something I can do, here's one good use of a enumeration before we, um, you know, delve into them farther, is here's one use, so we can have a boolean enumeration, true and false, and a food enumeration, banana, syrup, tortoise, dirt, fried worm, and pizza. So, things we can do is if you run it, it won't give us an error. Um, oh yeah, I get rid of that. It gives, does give us an error. Runs perfectly fine, whatever. So, some things we can do is we could say um, F equals syrup. Okay? And then we could do if F equals syrup. Say, um, What's wrong with you? Okay. Um, you run it, and then you'll see it asks, what's wrong with you? And another thing is for enumerations, and this is probably more um, what you would probably use it for. M maybe not even. Um, you could say, boolean um, b. I don't know and then b equals true and then if non pointer if b equals true see out b's sting people of course this is a multi-million dollar program so you better make sure your spelling is correct and oh okay um, if b equals true then it should See, and says, bees sting people. Hmm, no duh. 
Let's see a real quick tutorial on enumerations. Next tutorial, we'll be learning about the switch statement and we tying it in with enumerations. Until then, see you later.